Rugae refers to the prominent ridges or folds in the mucous membrane lining the stomach, bladder, and some other organs. In the stomach, gastric rugae are prominent folds in the mucosal lining. Rugae are highly elastic and can stretch to accommodate varying amounts of content. As the stomach fills with food and expands, the rugae unfold and can increase the surface area of the stomach by up to four times. When the stomach is empty, the rugae provide the lining with a pleated appearance. Rugae play a crucial role in digestion. The folds of tissue increase the surface area of the stomach lining and create turbulence in the stomach. allowing for more efficient contact between food and digestive enzymes that are secreted by the stomach lining. Promoting the breakdown of food into smaller, absorbable molecules. This mixing is essential for digestion to occur. Furthermore, the rugae folds create a maze-like structure that food must pass through to exit the stomach. This slows down the passage of food, which allows for more time for digestion to occur. The vaginal walls do indeed have folds, and these folds contribute to the unique anatomy and function of the vagina. The folds of tissue help to trap moisture and create a lubricating surface, which can facilitate sexual intercourse and help to protect the vaginal lining from irritation. Additionally, the rugae provide elasticity and the ability to stretch during activities such as sexual intercourse and childbirth. The stretching and pressure exerted on the vaginal walls during delivery can cause temporary disappearance of vaginal rugae. However, after childbirth, the vaginal tissues can undergo a healing process and start to reappear at third postpartum week. With age, the production of estrogen decreases which can lead to a thinning of the vaginal walls and a loss of vaginal rugae. This can make the vagina feel less elastic and more sensitive to pain. Rugae are also present in the bladder, contributing to its ability to expand and contract as it fills with and empties urine. This helps the bladder store urine effectively. The tissue folds help maximize the contact between the urine and the bladder wall, allowing for efficient reabsorption of water and electrolytes. This is particularly important in maintaining fluid balance and preventing dehydration. The liver produces bile and stores it in the gallbladder. While the term rugae is not as commonly used to describe the mucosal folds of the gallbladder, the luminal walls of gallbladder do have folds. In the context of the gallbladder, the term plica is more commonly used to describe the folds in the mucosal lining. The luminal surface of the gallbladder is highly folded and has a honeycomb appearance. These folds allow the gallbladder to expand to stores and contract to release bile in response to dietary fat intake. 
the pleca also play a role in mixing bile, preventing the settling of bile components and ensuring that the released bile is a uniform mixture. The rectum and anal canal also have mucous membrane folds that contribute to their elasticity. Also, the mucous membrane lining the folds produces mucus, which acts as a lubricant. reducing friction and protecting the delicate lining of the rectum and anal canal during the passage of stool. Another location where rugae exist is irregular folds of the mucous membrane on the anterior part of the palate. They are unique to each individual and do not change throughout life, making them valuable for identification purposes. These examples highlight the diverse adaptations of the body to perform various functions. Each specialized fold or structure is tailored to the specific needs and functions of the organ or tissue where it is found. <laughs>